What is the automotive supply chain? I'm Phil Curry here with another of AutoVista 24's explainer videos. Cars are built from parts. Parts are made from components and components are formed from materials. Suddenly there are thousands of parts in a single vehicle and that can be anywhere between 15,000 and 25,000 can have many, many steps for procurement, shipping and manufacture. Bringing these components from one step to another is known as the supply chain. While in the past it may have been an accurate statement, with one supplier feeding into another and another and so on, today's markets are dependent upon multiple suppliers, each feeding into different stages of manufacture, making it more of a supply web than a supply chain. However, like a chain, there are multitudes of links, and should one of these links fail, it can make the entire chain fragile, causing it to break. The automotive supply chain is therefore crucial for car makers, ensuring they get the right parts at the right time to deliver their cars to the customers. Let's look at a basic example. Raw materials are shipped to a refinery, which then ships them to a component supplier. This company receives other materials and builds its components. The part is then shipped to an engine supplier, who puts it in a new unit, and then ships it to the car factory, where there, it is put into the vehicle and sent to the dealership to be given to the customer. Between each of these steps, however, there are logistics and storage to take into account. It's also worth noting that suppliers may have multiple companies feeding into them, making the supply chain very complex. Now, there are different tiers of suppliers depending on their position in the supply chain and their status. Tier 3 suppliers are those who deal with raw materials, such as minerals, metals and plastics. Tier 2 suppliers make needed parts and components, but they are not limited to just cars. They can also supply to other industries. Electronics and semiconductors are an example of this. Tier 1 suppliers are those that build and supply finished components to car makers ready for vehicle assembly, and often they have direct relationships with manufacturers themselves. While car makers try to control as much as possible the supply chain, they are very reliant on external companies for certain aspects of it. This means the slightest disruption, be it in shipping, manufacturing or sourcing materials, can affect the rest of the chain. One example is the blockage of the Suez Canal in 2021, which held up components making their way to car factories in Europe. Another is the current semiconductor crisis. Whilst the materials for semiconductors are there, Tier 2 suppliers are unable to meet demand from all markets and automotive is one of those suffering. This is an example of a weak link. Raw materials may be available, but the components that need semiconductors cannot be made, meaning everything further down the supply chain is delayed as well. The longer a supply chain in the number of numbers and distance, the more difficult it is to control and manage. In a world where car makers are striving to reduce CO2 emissions, shortening the supply chain by manufacturing components in-house and working with raw material suppliers closer to home pays dividends when it comes to a quick, reliable and clean image. The automotive industry is a very challenging one and there are very many terms that AutoVista24 is looking to explain in this series. If you can think of anything you want to be discussed, please drop us a line in the comments below or the contact details available at autovista24.com. While you're there, don't forget to sign up to our daily email and check out our Twitter and LinkedIn pages. Thanks for watching.